What is up guys, it is Gamers Revolution here now. Sorry that I have not made a commentary in a while, but this is my first legit chem strike on Call of Duty Ghost, so I thought I'd do a commentary for you guys. And the reason I haven't been commentating my videos lately is because I've been really busy with school, like... I have this humanities project that I have to do, working really hard on an engineering pro project, and when I come home, I really just want to play some Call of Duty Ghosts with my friends, record just in case I get a chem strike like this one, and possibly upload a gameplay or two. Now, the 40-second chem strike that I posted a little bit a, a while ago... <laughs> Oh man, that, I was just trolling you guys, just to let you know. But that was an actually, that was fun, we gotta say. But now that I got my first legit chem strike, things are gonna get real. And it actually wasn't that hard as I thought it would be. As you can see, the map is wide out and I am using the AK-12. Sorry about that. But this was only my third time playing Whiteout in all of Call of Duty Ghosts. Because I usually play Cranked, but this time I was playing Kill Domination, actually. And before you guys ask, no, I was not using a full team. And before you guys ask, no, I was not having support runners. It just so happened that Dan was actually running support on his sniper because he wanted to snipe. He actually went on a 19 gun streak and almost got the chem with his sniper. But he was using support, so... You know, I'm going to take it if there, if it's there, so just thought I'd throw that out there. But also, I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit of a strategy for Whiteout, because apparently I'm good at this map. So, as you can see, I are, we were kind of spawn trapping without kind of noticing, me and my two friends. And so, pretty much we kept them at A. I believe this also works at C. But I found walking between where I'm walking and right about somewhere... It, like the whole time in this gameplay is a really good spot because they were focused on Dan most of the time so that gave me the perfect opportunity to kill from the side and I just kept on picking up kill after kill after kill after kill and then that added up I got a lot of assists here and there and that turned out to get me the chem strike but another thing I wanted to talk about was how bad the maps look after you call in the chem strike like on this map it looks so bad like you can't even see the map anymore like it turns all like orange and stuff and it, it's not like the Moab it's nothing like that it just makes it so icky and all that sort of stuff but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay I will get some music going for you guys as the rest of this KEM strike plays out so I would like to thank you guys for watching I have a cool video that I want to post out for you in a little bit probably about a week or so so I will see you guys in my next videos see you guys later bye